my dear delegates, friends, and fans. I hope the internet connection is very well right now, then we can talk. Per our previous discussion, I was talking to you about the God power and how you can manifest it in your life. Sometimes life is not the way that you want to feel. Sometimes you are feeling that you are alone and you are abundant from all the kindness. And you think that all the suffering is coming to you and you feel God is just pulling you to the hardest days of your life. It is true, but it's not gonna end forever. It's not gonna last forever. This is just a trial of you to born again with the purest spirit to catch whatever is designed for you to catch. You born here to manifest the God authority on earth. You born here to be a freedom fighter. You born here to be a good human being for yourself, for your family, for your friends. God did not create you to make you suffer. God created you with the authority and power and the love to pull you up, to pull you and take your hands when you need him in the last minute. When there is no one to help you, God is in there. God is watching you. God is hearing you. Just have faith and believe that God is there. Sometimes things might go not very well in your life. Sometimes you might think that it's not the same plan that you wanted to achieve and it is different. It's okay. Just don't be distracted. Just use them as the steps to the next level in your life. Just believe that there is God. Just believe that you are the love created by God. Just believe that all of the human being and nature around you are worthy and are beautiful. No matter of what religion you have, no matter of what color of your skin is, no matter of how much wealth you have, no matter of how much education you carry on your backpack and your certificate, your degrees, this is the thing you are right now and you want to manifest the best version of yourself. Just believe in it. You will get it, but never quit. There are some spiritual attacks in your life. There are coming some stones to use you as the target to hit you right after each other, stones after stones. But this is just what it is. And you have to use it and to empower yourself. You have two options in your life, to quit right now and not to get what you want, or to move forward and do not quit. Let the people laugh at you because at the end, it is you who laugh at the people that already mock and laughed at you and bully you. You are the winner, not the loser. You are the dream catcher, not just the planner. When life is hard, Hit it back harder. Get back. You're right. 
You are the person that are fighting for your feeling and do not allow others to interfere with your heart desire because they do not know what is in your heart and your desire is. You can see the power of God around you quietly. God is not creating the things with the noise when some people are playing around, they are making noise, we made it, we made it, but God is not creating things with the noise. God is silent and has a plan for you. Look at the baby twins are born in the hospital or at home. The thunder coming, the riot, everything coming. When they want to sleep, nothing can take them awake. It is the God beauty and the power. The God is in you. The God is living in you. The God, God has the power of authority in your life. Do not be distracted with any unwilling energy. Be alchemist. What is alchemy? To change the worst and the hardest things in your life to the best way. The secret of making the best version of the worst things that is around you. And do not allow any external barrier and conflict to distract you. Be the creator of your life with the power of the God. Be the love to love the love, be the peace, and then you see the manifestation of God in your life. I bless you today and each single of your life, each second of your life, this is Her Imperial and Spiritual Majesty, Empress Dr. Elham Madani. God bless you.